Hi, I'm Jen Friel. And I've crashed the Grammy Awards. I've danced on stage with Prince. I went on an over 103 dates in nine months. I bartered social media to live for a year. I got to 12 states with only $10 to my name. I've set legal precedent in the state of Connecticut before I could even vote in the state of Connecticut. I got a shout out in social media from Britney Spears, but I think that was because I was on her ex-boyfriend's TV show. Jen, impressive. She is so computer literate and she's savvy. We have no doubt that if we put her in the right business, yeah. she's gonna go through the ceiling. She's, she's, she's that sharp. Perfect, perfect example of the person first. Oh yeah. Jen, how is it even possible to put into words how remarkably special you are and how much I look up to you. Not only are you brilliant, but you look at any obstacle as an achievable challenge. Not only are you creative, but you ignite the imaginations of everyone you encounter. Not only are you stunningly gorgeous, but you express your divine inner world through your own personal style. You care endlessly for and about others, both human and animals alike. You champion other women like no one I've met, encouraging our friendships. I have so many new ones from here and reminding us what we are capable of. The problem was, even though my life was very abnormal, everything that I did felt very normal to me. It affected my self-esteem relationships and I constantly felt like I was an alien. Luckily, 17 months ago, I got diagnosed as being autistic and I have synesthesia. And like that, my life finally started to make sense. I see and hear vibrational energy. It's as real to me as the table that I'm filming this on. Time is also layered. It's like a living thing and I can adjust my timing for each layer. I see colorless energy fields around people and hear their vibrational tones. Smells are sometimes taste or vibration that tell my brain, hey, the smells. Words can generate a smell or taste or physical sensation on my body. I thought all of this is what makes me creative or unique. Synesthesia affects every minute of every day of my life. My world on the outside is directly affected by what I'm experiencing on the inside. I've always been considered fashionable, but what I didn't realize I was doing subconsciously was dressing for my senses. As a surprise on my birthday, my friends even dressed up as me. I'm not actually in this photo. Now that I know what I have, I get to lead a truly unapologetic life. I can now use my gifts as a tool. I've successfully outed two con men and even planned the community meeting for my friend and neighbor who was murdered or the time I was in my skeleton onesie outside of a teepee and sat directly in front of Jack Dorsey and Rick Rubin casually having lunch. And speaking of national treasures, I did spend New Year's Eve with one. I was dressed as Cleopatra and I hope the next time we meet I can actually speak. I still break records, both physically and mentally. But most importantly, I get to own my very unique perspective. I finally see that my gifts are a gift. Life doesn't have to be so overwhelming. I can finally be present because I know how to protect my senses. And in turn, discovered my sense of self. Quite a